U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and British Foreign Secretary David Lamy have arrived in Kiev on a joint visit as Ukraine presses the West to allow it to use long-range missiles against Russia. The top diplomats reached the Ukrainian capital on Wednesday hours after the U.S. presidential debate during which Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump sparred over the two-and-a-half-year war in Ukraine. Blinken traveled from London, where he accused Iran of providing Russia with FAF, 360 short-range ballistic missiles, calling the move a dramatic escalation of Russia's military campaign. For months, Ukraine has been requesting approval to use long-range weapons from the United States and Western allies to strike targets in Russia, and is expected to press harder given Russia's latest reported weapons acquisition. Wednesday's visit comes ahead of British Prime Minister Keir Starmer's upcoming trip to Washington, where he will meet President Joe Biden at the White House on Friday. Russian airstrikes, mostly aimed at crippling Ukraine's energy infrastructure, have intensified in recent weeks with nightly missile and drone attacks. The UK Foreign Secretary on Tuesday announced that he and his US counterpart plan to make a joint visit to Ukraine later this week to reinforce their country's support for the nation. Welcoming US Secretary of State Antony Blinken to London, David Lammy said the visit came at a critical moment. A critical moment for securing a ceasefire in Gaza, with the shocking deaths in Khan Yunus this morning only reinforcing how desperately needed that ceasefire is. And a critical moment for supporting Ukraine, as we enter the third winter of Putin's illegal war, he said. Earlier on Tuesday, an Israeli strike on a crowded tent camp housing Palestinians displaced by the war in Gaza killed at least 19 people and wounded 60, Palestinian officials said. Lamy said the UK and US were completely aligned on the need to secure a ceasefire in the Middle East. And completely aligned too, on the need to tackle Iran's malign activity in the region and beyond, he added. The US formally accused Iran on Tuesday of supplying short-range ballistic missiles to Russia for its war in Ukraine. Blinken, speaking alongside Lamy in London, said that sanctions would be announced later Tuesday. Word of the alleged transfers began to emerge over the weekend with reports that intelligence indicated they were underway, according to U.S. officials who spoke on condition of anonymity. Blinken said Tuesday that the transfers appear to have been completed. Iran, as it has with previous U.S. intelligence findings, has denied providing Russia with weapons for its war in Ukraine. It's a pleasure to welcome you here to London, and clearly we're meeting at a critical moment, a critical moment for securing a ceasefire in Gaza with the shocking deaths in Khan Yunus this morning only reinforcing how desperately needed that ceasefire is and a critical moment for supporting Ukraine as we enter the third winter of Putin's illegal war. Today I can confirm that Tony and I will be travelling to Kyiv this week, uh, the first joint visit uh, of this kind for well over a decade. We are the closest of allies, so I'm delighted that we will travel together demonstrating our commitment to Ukraine. And on the Middle East, we are completely aligned on the need to secure that ceasefire, completely aligned on the need to get the region onto a path to peace and reconciliation with a two-state solution at its heart, and completely aligned too on the need to tackle Iran's 
malign activity in the region and beyond, we're seeing a dis disturbing pattern of greater Iranian support for the Kremlin's illegal war. And we discuss today our shared commitment to holding Tehran to account for their undermining of global stability. Thank you.